Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for December 6th, 2016. Um, welcome back to everyone who's been here before and welcome to those of you who are new. This is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time and what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And since we're looking at energies, these will play out in different ways for different people. So I always encourage everyone to keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it speaks to that. And um, let's have a look at what the energies are for us today. It looks like we have a, a good day ahead of us, okay, with lots of potential. And the message for today feels like a confirmation that is needed, okay, perhaps by a lot of us. Um, that either we're on the right track or we should keep moving with something um, or it's an encouragement for us to take charge of what's going on in as much as we can and um, reassess things, evaluate everything, make sure that we are not overlooking anything and then using what we have to our advantage. So the first card that we have, we have a beautiful progression, okay, we have the Eight of Coins, the Emperor, and the Nine of Coins. So it's clear that we've been working really hard on something, and I feel that in today's energy we have the potential to see, to see the student become the master, and then have abundance as a result, okay? It's in, in very, very much of a short form, that's what the message for today feels like because we have the Eight of Coins as our first card, and this is representing the influence of the past on our current situation, so where we're coming from. And the Eight of Coins is a card that talks about working really hard on something that we've started, or that we've just started, or recently started, or this is something that has been in the works uh, for quite some time. Um, it, it takes lots of work, it takes focus, dedication, paying attention to details, and also lots and lots of studying, researching. Um, it is the card of the apprentice, um, so that just means, you know, learning as you go, uh, looking for the experience or to deepen your, your knowledge, and then expanding that by using what you've learned to continue to grow every single time. And so the Eight of Coins, again, this is the energy, so it could just represent starting a new job or starting a new process in how you look for a job. Um, this could represent the early stages of a relationship, but it can also be, you know, existing relationships where just some, some time and attention is needed, some work is needed to just get back on track or back on the same page or to move forward with a common goal, okay? It just talks about a time of work. It could be, you know, working on your health. It could be working on your spirituality. It could be uh, working on your finances, and that's what this represents, okay? The energy of the Eight of Coins is definitely lots of work, dedication, paying attention to details. It's something that requires your full attention um, or that has been your, full, your, your main focus for quite some time, okay? And with the Eight of Coins, what I see in this card is we're not completely a complete novice when it comes to this. Yes, we are still you know, a long way from our goal and there's still a lot to do and a lot to learn, but we have an idea of what we want to accomplish with this, okay? Because it's it's that idea that tells us where to go, what to do, what information would be useful, what to research and so on and so forth. Um, but in this card, you see that, you know, we're on our own and it just takes our work, our efforts, our dedication to make that goal um, attainable or you know, something that could be challenging. The energy for today is the Emperor. So with the Emperor, okay, this is a major arcana card and it is the card of Mars. It represents Mars, so the planet of action, um, of fire, passion, um, and drive, okay, is what I see in this card. So with the Emperor and today's energy, um, for some of us, this feels like an encouragement to stick to the plan, okay, an encouragement to follow these rules that you've laid out for yourself a while ago um, because you're doing well, so stick to it. For others, the emperor talks about someone in our surrounding, okay, um, or someone in our environment that we can speak to. This could be someone like, it's not so much as a mentor, 
it's it feels more like because a mentor you know is someone you, you either look up to or someone guiding you gently along the way you know someone who's kind of there for you encouraging you uh teaching you as you go the emperor feels more like yes he will give you advice and yes he will give you guidance but it feels more like this is what you do okay it feels more like an indication or a rule that he gives you rather than you know warm encouragement um so this could be someone you could be reaching out to today or that you're encouraged to reach out to this is someone uh, you know at, at the top of their game okay the, the head of their field um a true expert uh, that you could be speaking to 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 progress whatever this eight of coin situation is for you for others of us the emperor is about ourselves the emperor is our energy um, asking us to find our confidence and our strength to call the shots to take things into our own hands to decide what happens and what doesn't happen to use our resources wisely so that we can continue on this path that we've chosen for ourselves and that we've been working on really really hard for the past weeks, months, years, okay, it's going to be different for um, for everyone. Um, the Emperor is all about confidence and establishing ground rules, okay, for some of us it's what this feels like. Um, the Emperor can also be, further it feels like a, a figure of authority that either tests you or that needs to give their approval. Um, for what you're doing okay or someone who needs to either pass you or or fail you it feels like okay for for others of us someone who needs to to give you their seal of approval pretty much and so it could be that for for others of us that's what we're dealing with today some sort of test some sort of exam uh, some sort of approval that we're waiting on or things to go through or anything like that okay dealing with figures of authority or legal figures um, institutions and so on it feels like that for for others of us and the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the nine of coins and the nine of coins is abundance it's prosperity it's your happily ever after in the material realm or to do with your sense of security and again security means different things to different people okay yes it can absolutely be about finances because we have two uh, coin cards in here. It can absolutely be about financial situations improving, seeing the reward of your work. This is graduating and receiving rewards, recognition, re and um, you know being paid what you deserve. Or this is in, in the form of respect. Or this is in the form of uh, people referring, you know, referring other people to you. So your client base is increasing, and you're already seeing the results of that. You know, and you can proceed down that path in a more confident way. Um, the Nine of Coins is also a card that shows up when, you know, this is the self-made man or the self-made woman. So your work, your dedication, your efforts, your sacrifice is what gets you to completion, successful completion, to rewards, uh, to abundance that this card talks about, okay? And it makes sense because we're on our own and the Eight of Coins... It's our work, our time, our dedication. For some of us, the emperor does feel like some sort of test or exam that comes, you know, when things culminate and then, you know, we decide or they decide what happens next, if we pass, if we need to redo some stuff. But with the nine of coins coming afterwards, I, I definitely see some positive results today, some positive news um, to do with anything, again, like tests or exams or, or um, approvals or permits or anything like that, okay? Um, for others of us, this feels like um, taking matters into our own hands. So perhaps this could also be, you know, going from a regular nine to five job or working for someone else to taking matters into your own hands with the emperor and then becoming self-employed and very successfully. So for some of us, that's the question, that's the issue on the table. And the encouragement is, yes, you're absolutely capable and, um, and more than equipped to do this. And you just need to have that confidence that the emperor talks about and to use your head, keep your head clear, make the decisions you need to make, face things, okay, not running away or, you know, trying to avoid things. If you feel like you need to talk to someone, absolutely talk to that person who's an expert who you can absolutely trust and apply what they're telling you. That's another thing. Action. Take action. Today's a day of action. Um, and just com continuing to move forward, keeping that ball rolling, okay, um, is what these cards feel like because you're definitely headed towards 
abundance and successful completions. Um, you know, and for this, this just feels like if your confidence has been dwindling, because again, it can happen, okay, when we're so focused on something and so dedicated, that's the only thing that we see. And so we can, we can lose touch with reality or lose perspective and get at a point where we feel like, is this even worth it? Is this even going to work? I don't even know anymore because we're not comparing what we're doing to, you know, what's going on around us. Or it's that thing where you're not aware of how much you're changing until, you know, you're at the end of the change and other people can see it too. And that's what gives you a new perspective. It can be some something like that, okay, where we've just been focused on, on this thing for so long and we kind of uh, lose faith a little bit because we feel like, you know what, I've been working on this for so long. It feels like I've been working on this forever and I don't even know if I'm on the right track anymore, okay? And so the emperor just talks about finding your confidence looking at things objectively because if you do that you will see enrichment you will see progress and then that confidence is the last thing you need to continue to push forward until this happy completion happens okay with the the nine of coins and our guidance message for today is cyan build your confidence the number is 35. so again a clear message about building your confidence Okay, remember what you're doing this for, remember what the purpose was, be objective and be fair with yourself and see how far you've come and see how much you've, you've made happen and um, all the positive results you've had already or have confidence in your vision, have confidence in the goal you set out to, to accomplish even though you may not see it come together just yet, have confidence and faith that you're definitely moving in the right direction. Um, this is also... For some of us, you know, it takes courage to go to an expert and ask for their input. It, it does take courage because it can seem like, you know, maybe I'm not doing enough of, enough of a job, a good job, or a good enough job, sorry. Um, but that's just the ego, okay? That's the ego-based consciousness that kind of tells you, well, if you can't do this on your own, then maybe you shouldn't do it at all. But that's not the case, okay? This is your project, absolutely. And it does happen, you know, it come, there comes a time when... We absolutely need someone else's input because again, we don't live in this world by ourselves. We live with other people and most likely we work with other people. So it it does get to a point where we need someone else's input. So don't be afraid to ask, okay, use that strength, use that, use that confidence. And the number eight is a number uh, that talks about inner strength, okay? And it's making me think of the strength card in the tarot, also number eight. It is a card of strength, inner strength, courage, action, success, completion, and abundance, okay? So that's definitely what we need to keep our focus on uh, or what we need to acknowledge that actually, yes, we're doing that. And to use that confidence to push through um, and just come closer to this very, very happy, successful, rewarding conclusion that's gonna happen soon enough, okay? So that's the message for today. It feels like a very beautiful and, and empowering message, so I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it helps. Um, thank you very much for being here. Um, and um, I'm still working on the monthlies and the yearlies, but I will be posting them uh, real soon, so keep your eyes out for that. And um, also, check out the New Year special um, and the raffle. The links to all of those are in the description box below. And have a wonderful day ahead. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.